The ulnar nerve travels with the brachial plexus. It lies just on the tricep side of the brachial artery. Then it pierces the intermuscular septum between the flexors and the tricep muscles. It then travels along the triceps muscle to pass under the ulnar collateral ligament, which runs between the humerus and the ulna. Then it passes underneath the flexor carpi ulnaris and is grasped between the flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis, where it's vulnerable to tension and trigger points in these muscles. It reappears at the wrist, just slightly on the thumb side of flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. The sensory division continues out to innervate the hypothenar side of the hand and the last two fingers. Test the ulnar nerve if the client experiences pain, tingling, or numbness in the last two fingers or has medial epicondylitis, commonly called golfer's elbow. Upper limb tension test three with an ulnar nerve bias. Face your client, flex their elbow to 90 degrees. The first position is one of wrist extension with your fingers pointing towards you. The second position is pronation. Two hands down, elbow flexion. Then we um, externally rotate and abduct the glenohumeral joint until we reach a comfortable end range of abduction. And you slide your hand underneath while still having contact. On the At the lap. same time, uh, elbow flexion creates less space in the tunnel, in the gap between the uh, ligament that ties the humerus and the ulna together, and as well in the humeral ulnar arcade, which is the tenant of origin of flexor carpi ulnaris. This is a very common region uh, for symptoms to arise in. The first technique I'd like to show you is directed towards the fluid content around the nerve. So the elbow needs to be extended to a fair degree. You can just shape your thenar eminence in this region and gently milk it for a broad contact, which is a very good introductory technique, which you might employ for up to three to five minutes if required.